And we continue to follow Pennsylvania's Republican U.S. Senate debate tonight. Five of the seven GOP candidates took the stage in Harrisburg. Fox 43's Chelsea Johnson joins us live with some of the biggest moments from this evening's debate. Well, Evan, the Republican candidates vying for Pennsylvania's U.S. Senate seat debated a number of hot button topics tonight from COVID-19 to inflation all the way to Title 42. But the biggest highlight of tonight was the back and forth attacks between Dr. Mehmet Oz and David McCormick. Republican forefronters Dr. Mehmet Oz and David McCormick were joined by conservative activist Kathy Barnett, real estate investor Jeff Bartos, and Carla Sands, Trump's ambassador to Denmark. All of the candidates put their best foot forward as they look to fill U.S. Senator Pat Toomey's open Senate seat. One of the topics that garnered heated responses between Oz and McCormick tonight was attack ads. These are ads primarily run by one of my opponents, Mr. McCormick and they are designed to try to fool the electorate. It's just disingenuous for Mehmet to say that when Mehmet has so many dollars coming in his pocket from China, which we can talk about, that it's, it's sort of mind boggling. The candidates were also asked if they believe there were any exceptions to abortions. An issue that again highlighted the divide between Oz and McCormick as McCormick claimed that Oz flip flopped on this issue. There should be an exception for the life of the mother. We don't want mothers dying as they try to give birth to a child. Mehmet has flip flopped on every major issue and you can go to his own comments. May 21st, 2019, an interview at the Breakfast Club. He essentially said that he was worried about the pro-life movement um, that was um, creating fights. Despite the divide, all of the candidates agreed that they would handle the COVID-19 pandemic differently than President Joe Biden. The American Rescue Plan was a disaster. Employers cannot find employees. When people are not working, nothing works. It's the out of control spending. I'll stop it the day I arrive in Washington. First thing we need to do is unlock our energy sector. That was a terrible decision. That's driving the price of fuel. That's driving inflation. The number one thing I would do is reverse an executive order passed January 27th, right after he was inaugurated in 2021, which stopped drilling on federal lands. And the candidates hoping to win the Republican nomination for governor will face off in a debate on Wednesday. Reporting live in Harrisburg, Chelsea Johnson, Fox 43 News. All right, Chelsea, thank you so much. And ahead of the primary election, President Donald Trump will hold a rally to boost Dr. Mehmet Oz's run for the U.S. Senate seat. Mr. Trump, who endorsed Oz in Pennsylvania's upcoming election, will deliver remarks in support of the doctor on May 6th in western Pennsylvania at the Westmoreland Fairgrounds. And it'll mark the first time the former president has visited Pennsylvania since losing the election in 2020. You can expect more information on the upcoming primary election on our website, fox43.com.